Welcome back to Opinion Journal Live. I'm Mary Kissel. Both President Obama and challenger Mitt Romney are fighting very hard for the female vote in this election. But the president in particular has touted something that he passed very early in his presidency, the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, as a reason for women to vote for him. Let's have a listen to how Ms. Ledbetter herself described what she thinks this law achieved at the Democratic National Convention. Equal night. pay for equal work is an American value. That fight took me 10 years. It took me all the way to the Supreme Court. And in a five to four decision, they stood on the side of those who shortchanged my pay, my overtime, and my retirement just because I'm a woman. Victoria Tonsing, former chief counsel for the Senate Intelligence Committee, has an op-ed on this very subject in today's Wall Street Journal, and she joins me now from Washington to discuss it. Uh, Victoria, I thought that women enjoyed equal pay protection <laughs> under U.S. law prior to the Lilly Ledbetter Act being passed. Was I wrong? Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. For a half a century, women have had two laws, two federal laws that have given them equal pay for equal work. The 1963 Equal Pay Act, which was written just for women, and the 1964 Civil Rights Act. All the Ledbetter Law does is change how, for some cases, not very many, how the statute of limitations is calculated. It's a disgrace that they're bragging about this. So it, for, for, uh, view, it, uh, for viewers out there who might not know <clears throat> Lily Ledbetter and the story, what was she complaining about, and, and how did she do in the courts? Why did we need this I'll, law? I'll, I'll, try to, I'll try to get this through this as quickly as possible. <laughs> okay. You know, we lawyers. That, that, in 1979, she started working for Goodyear in Alabama. In 1998, she retired, and upon retiring, she used both of those laws to sue Goodyear, saying she had been discriminated against on account of, of sex. The first judge threw out both of those cases laws or and her whole lawsuit saying no it was because of poor work not because of your sex the judge over him said no i'm going to reinstate one of them just the title seven so she goes to trial and it, th let me just tell you the the crux of her trial uh, evidence was there was one male supervisor who had asked her for sex in the 1980s and again sometime in the 1990s and she had turned him down, and that was why she got a bad evaluation, and she had a poor job. Uh, she got her, her low, low pay. The jury, nevertheless, awarded her money, even though that supervisor was dead at the time of trial, conveniently. Victoria. Now the case goes on appeal. Yes. The, pay, the case goes on appeal, and the Supreme Court does what? They overturn it? They certainly do because they say, you know what, 180 days is 180 days. And Congress wrote a law. We can't overturn. We can't change what Congress wrote. Congress says, you knew that, that when discriminatory acts like that occur, so you have 180 days to file your suit. Now, what Lily's argument was by the time she got to the Supreme Court was, well, every new paycheck, every new paycheck was a new discriminatory law, so therefore you should fine for me. But here's something else significant that the Supreme Court said. You know, if she, if she had argued that she never knew she was getting less pay, well, we might have listened to that, but she never made that argument. Well, it took L Lily Ledbetter about uh, five minutes after the Supreme Court decision to go up in the political atmosphere and say, I never knew. <laughs> Yet, there were sworn depositions before trial, before she knew that time was an issue, where she admitted that she had known for years that she was getting inferior pay. So, so, so it, it, Obama, oh, go ahead. So effectively, uh, what the president says that this is a, a brand new, big, important protection uh, <laughs> is kind of a load of bunk. I think that's a nice term. That's <laughs> okay. probably I've called I've called it other other. I mean, he could read that Supreme Court decision just like I did over the weekend because I got so tired of hearing him come out and say this, and it's particularly in the uh, town hall meeting debate. So what all. All the new law does is say that it, for Title VII cases only, not even for the Equal Pay Act, for the Title VII cases only, that every new paycheck is in a new act of discrimination and keeps tolling the statute of limitations. But guess what? That doesn't do anything for a hiring case, for a promotion case, for a firing case. So it's very, very limited. But 
in the political brouhaha, and I blame the Republicans, the other side of the aisle, they just allowed these talking points to go by the okay. wayside. I couldn't believe no talking one had wrote about it. Talking points to go by the wayside. Victoria Tonsing, former chief <clears throat> counsel for the Senate Intelligence Committee, the real story on the Lilly Ledbetter Act. Thanks for being with us.